Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the compatibility of Spark with Groovy compiler. So the very first thing that we need to do is to check what version of compiler is currently active in our Eclipse. So for that, click on Window, go to Preferences, and go to Groovy section. Click on this triangle and directly go to the compiler and at the top it will show which compiler version is in action so here we can see that the version of this compiler is 2.4.3 and in previous section we have just read about how to add dependency of spark core but here we need to get back to the maven repository from where we have just taken this dependency so get back to that. Let me again search it. Spark core. Go to Spark framework 4. Click on this. And inside this, if we are just going to scroll it down, then we will be able to see what kind of stuff we are just going to have inside this Spark core. So here we are going to see groovy hyphen all. So the very first thing that we need to notice is the version of this groovy hyphen all. And here we can see that it is showing 2.4.1. But currently compiler that is active is 2.4.3. So how we are just going to resolve it. So click on this version, click on this groovy all. And here we can see the various version that is available into the market. And we have to opt 2.4.3. Click on this, go to the Maven tab, copy the dependency and get back to your project below the Spock hyphen core. We need to paste this dependency. So what this dependency is going to do that when a spoke core dependency is added into the class path, then it will download groovy version of 2.4.1. And this dependency that we are just going to add, it will override that 2.4.1 version of groovy with 2.4.3. So add it and save it and just hold for a few seconds and you can see within this maven dependency groovy hyphen all has been updated to 2.4.3 dot jar it means we have the same groovy all jar that is pretty similar to the compiler version that is active so thanks for watching in next tutorial, we are going to see how to write our very first test case. Thanks.